summertime is and can be just as busy as during the school year. So you want to be prepared with um, some healthy foods to send your child off to camp or swimming lessons or tutoring or whatever they're going off to, to do. My favorite rules is that before your child leaves, whenever they or whenever they eat something, they always need to have two things. And one of them needs to be protein. Uh, so you have a carbohydrate protein combination and what that does is gives them some quick energy from the carbohydrate because it's broken down easily, it's filled with water. And um, then you have the stable blood sugar from the protein. So some favorite combinations of protein and carbohydrate would be peanut butter on whole wheat toast, nuts, a handful of nuts and a piece of fruit. Greek yogurt is awesome. Um, a granola bar and a piece of string cheese would work. A bowl of Cheerios um, because it has four grams of fiber per serving, which is great, and perhaps a piece of cheese, or even like cottage cheese and fruit. So it always needs to be two things together. Another good idea if you're going to be in your car driving your kids from one activity to another, perhaps you could have a just a, a snack box in your car that you refill every week with different types of things like peanut butter, whole wheat crackers, um, some dried fruit and, and nuts and things like that, and always grab a piece of fresh fruit with you and a piece of cheese before you get in the car. I think one of the main things in selecting food for kids is that you want to keep in mind the thought that real food grows. Real food, can it's either a plant, it's a potato, it's a fruit, it's a vegetable, um, it could be a dairy product, skim milk, cottage cheese, yogurt, but real food grows. And just an example, I want you to think about if you're driving around in your car, do you find this on a tree? You do not. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're preparing things for your kids, that really they just need real food.